and in trade, a peace offering. The U.S. probably won't renew tariffs on Chinese tires. That's after United Steelworkers Union said they won't press for an extension earlier this year. This decision is setting off a debate in Washington questioning the trade sanctions. Daniel Wrenches reports. After three years of heavy tariffs on Chinese tires, President Obama is now expected to let it expire without an extension, despite the fact that his campaign has in recent days made a heavy political play on the issue. It's time to stand up to the cheaters. Tough on China? Not Mitt Romney. When a flood of Chinese tires threatened a thousand American jobs, it was President Obama who stood up to China and protected American workers. Mitt Romney attacked Obama's decision. The United Steelworkers Union brought the complaint back in April 2009, arguing that there had been a massive surge of car and light truck tire imports from China, which materially harmed the U.S. tire industry and disrupted the market. President Obama acted on the U.S. International Trade Commission's finding in its favor by imposing duties of 35 percent, 30 percent and 25 percent over three years. Critics say the tariffs wound up increasing prices for U.S. consumers and pushed manufacturing to other nations. Less tires are coming in from China, but it has not stopped the importation of tires. Uh, that has continued to increase at about the same pace. It's just they're coming from other com countries such as India or Brazil. The United Steelworkers Union says that under the WTO China accession agreement, the U.S. would have to pay compensation to China if the tariffs were extended beyond three years. The Obama administration says the tariffs have added 1,200 jobs to the U.S. workforce, but some economists question the logic of these sanctions. Our analysis showed that it was not very productive of creating jobs in the United States, maybe created 1,000 jobs, 1,200 jobs, something like that, at great expense per job. Huffbauer concludes that the cost per job saved was about $900,000 in 2011 for U.S. consumers, which mostly went to foreign and domestic companies and not to American workers. The United Steelworkers Union says the tariffs have been effective job creators and demonstrate a robust trade enforcement policy. Critics say they've been counterproductive when you take into consideration the actual costs to U.S. consumers and to American business as a whole. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.